Yeah, well, a lot of people felt like he was going to go be a professional kickboxer. There's more money in the UFC, though. <laughs> That's why he's here. We'll see if he can kick somebody's head off here tonight. I mean, he's going to look for it. You know, we have seen great kickboxers come into the sport before. We have not seen many that come with the background, with the tradition and the history that this man has in kickboxing. He is so sure that if it's a stand-up fight in the UFC, he beats anyone. And I'm talking anyone, the best in the world, he thinks he beats them. But he's gonna have to show that he can stay upright, because this ain't kickboxing. This is mixed martial arts. You gotta make sure you defend those legs, or you end up spinning 15 minutes laying on your back. That's right, we did have some fun in our fighter meeting. He said, would you guys prefer a, a knockout with a kick or a punch? We <laughs> said, hey man, I mean, we wanna see you throw those feet. So we'll see if he can get the knockout here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic matchup. matchup against a lot of these guys. He has power, he has speed, he has toughness, a chin that allows him to be aggressive. And when he's aggressive, he is at his athletic best. He is a total athletic freak, off the charts, and tonight trying to prove to people that he is a force to be reckoned and true. One of, if not the best middleweights in the world. for this, our main event of the evening. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paolo the Eraser Pasta. One of the best in the business, Ready Herb Dean, is our referee tonight. All right, so here he is, the UFC Hall of Famer and former light heavyweight champion, the legendary Iceman Chuck Liddell. And it's amazing talking to our UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, who says he wouldn't even be fighting were it not for a guy like Chuck Liddell. And here is the Iceman, still motivated to get it done in the big show against all of these young athletes. And if recent results are any indication, still plenty of fight left in the great Chuck Liddell. Both guys still truly trying to find their range. Both fighters throwing heat now. Push kick there to the body. He is going after that overhand right. Nice jab by Chuck Liddell. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Oh, 
how good is that jab by the Hall of Fame with the Iceman Chuck Liddell? Oh, nice. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Back to the overhand right. Not there. Lands a strike there. Costa's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Outstanding oh, round and what? another five minutes coming up. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level expression. Hook to the head there by Chuck Liddell. Suzai now closing up. Oh, you land, I land. That's how we're doing here. Oh, clean hook there. Oh, that body kick couldn't felt good. Right hook to the head, blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war. <laughs> the fight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paulo the Eraser Costa. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.